Live from Ron's Pizza on South Main Bell Fountain, welcome to Peak of Ohio Chalk Talk. Interviews with athletes and coaches from the CBC, OHC, NWCC, and more divisions and sports groups. Streaming live on peakofohio.com, this is Chalk Talk. Welcome to this episode of Chalk Talk. I am Tyler Avila. We have a packed show here for you tonight. We're live at Ron's Pizza and on PickUpOhio.com. You can uh, call Ron's uh, for pickup or delivery. It's 292-7775, or you could come on in and enjoy some of this tasty food. I am joined with Benjamin Logan, uh, girls, senior girls uh, on the golf team. It is Maya Lee's Samovar, correct? And then we got Gabriel uh, Schmidt joining us along. Ladies, thanks for uh, joining me on Chalk Talk tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Ain't no problem. No problem. So you guys had a match yesterday. Uh, You guys defeated Graham 172 to 224. And looks like you guys shot really well. Cindy Wesson, she shot a 38. Uh, Maya Lee, you shot a 43. Uh, Gabrielle, you shot a, a 45. And then uh, Leah, Taylor, and Willow shot a 46, 47, 50. And then Olivia shot a 60 to round out your guys' team. Kind of talk about the match yesterday. Um, obviously, we had really, most of us had a pretty good day. Our, a lot of our players are a lot better this year, and we're having a really good season so far. Gabby, if you want to add anything? I did that course a couple times, so I think a lot of us were comfortable with it, and so that's why we were able to do well. Okay. Now, uh, are you guys the only seniors on the team, or is there more? Yes, we are the only seniors. Okay, so uh, throughout the rest of your guys' team, how many uh, are freshmen, juniors, and sophomores? Jason and Taylor Lafferty, Leah Valentine, and Olivia Hahn are... All sophomores. Okay. Um, our only junior is Willow Titus, and we have no freshmen. No freshmen. All right. So a very uh, experienced group for you guys then. Yes. So that must be nice um, having on the team, having experience. What does it take? Uh, either one of you can answer or both of you can answer. What does it take to be a good golfer? Um, it takes a lot of hard work and just bad days push through it and keep working on it so it definitely takes a lot of dedication to work hard at it okay um a lot of work in the off season is very important all of our girls worked really hard this summer um preparing for this season because last year we had a really good season and we want to do even better this year mm-hmm. we have really high expectations um so we they did a really good job. We all did of working really hard in the off season. Okay. Now you you talked about expectations. What are those expectations for you girls? We want to go to state again okay. this year because it was a really great experience for us. Just hanging out as a team and also just getting to play with a bunch of good schools and on such a great course. Okay. So it was a lot of fun. Um. How long have you guys been golfing? I think we've both been golfing since seventh grade. Okay. We started about at the same time. Okay. Me and Gabrielle did. What uh, what got you into wanting to be a golfer? Both of our moms told us that um, there are a lot of um, scholarships for... They yeah. pretty much forced us to do it. <laughs> but after after playing, we enjoyed it, and so obviously we're here now, yep. senior year, so we like it. And the golf scholarship thing we now know is a myth. It is not easy to get a golf scholarship. Right? Yeah. No. I mean, getting really any scholarship is it's kind of yeah. difficult. But uh, I'm sure you guys are having a, a tremendous year. Once uh, once golf is done for you guys, what's next? Well, I have swim and track for okay. the rest of the year, and I'm taking a lot of college classes, so preparing for college. So that's the rest of my year. Okay. Um, I don't play any other sports, but 
just focusing on school and still playing golf. Um, and then I'll be playing golf at Ashland University nice. next year. Really working hard to get my game at the level that it needs to be. Okay. Oh, why did you choose Ashland? Um, it's a Division two school, and it's a pretty small campus, and it's a really good fit for me. Um, I love the coach. I know I'm going to learn so much from him. Um, and he is he trusts me, and he's confident in me, and I trust him, and it's just a really good fit. Okay. Let's go back to Gabrielle. Now, you were uh, talking about focusing on college, taking college courses. Uh, are you? What colleges are you looking at? Um, well, if I weren't to – weren't to go for golf I really want to go to OSU okay and a couple schools for golf probably division three or two a smaller okay. school My swing coach Stephen Lynn he's having me meet with an Otterbein coach talk to him and see what happens okay cool that's awesome um Back to back to your guys' golf career. What is the best you've ever shot? My best nine holes is a forty-two, I believe, and my best eighteen is ninety-seven. Wow, that's really so good. Definitely a prove an improvement from mm -hmm. past years. Um, this is the first year I've gotten under one hundred, so that's really exciting for me. Yeah, congratulations on that, by the way. Nine holes is a two under par 34, and my best 18 holes um, was a couple weeks ago was a 73 one over par. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Uh, so your guys' season basically starts. Excuse me. Your guys' season starts basically right before school starts. So like the first of August, I. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I believe the first week of August, um, and then it really ends right before October hits. What's it like having such a short uh, season for your sport? Um, it is a pretty short. It's a very short season, but we play a lot during the week. The first couple weeks of school, um, where we ha we're playing three times a week mm -hmm. um, after school, is really hard. Um, so it's a short season, but it still feels like a long time. Yeah. Um, and once it slows down, it's very relieving. Right. No, and I, it slows down when we have a big tournaments where we have sectionals and district yep. and state. So we hope our season lasts into October to go to state. Well, I hope it does too. Uh, so you guys have been golfing for about five years now, and you have to have a favorite course. Which one is your favorite course that you've uh, golfed at before? I really like the course where we play districts, um, Pipestone, which is down in Dayton. That's okay. one of my favorite courses, just because it, thing, but it's really pretty. Um, I, I like Pipestone too. But I also liked playing the Gray Course at Ohio State. Just the experience of being there. Um, it's beautiful and it's challenging and, um. Just being there, it, the whole experience at State was just so un, unreal. Yeah, yeah. So, you guys have a match tomorrow. Uh, you have today off uh, practice, but uh, you have a match tomorrow. How do you get prepared or pumped up? Like, what's your go-to? Like, how, how do you get amped up for your next golf match? <laughs> we we don't really get hyped up. We we're right. very we're very focused and in the in the car after school we have long car rides most of the time and um we we talk about our game plan and we um cool down from school and just really get in the head game that we need to be okay um to play a really good match all right all right <laughs> um so if you are a an amateur golfer what are some tips you would give uh, well if because they're an amateur golfer, what are some tips that you give them to improve their game? Um, I think uh, mental game is the most important thing after, like, consistent practice. Um, but when you have a bad hole or a bad shot, you really just need to get over it and move on to the next shot because the more you dwell on that shot, the more you're angry and or upset. So yeah. you can't hit 
the next shot the way you want to. You just have to keep moving forward in your round. And 18 holes is a long time. Five hours. Right. So you have plenty of time to make up for your mistakes. And one hole doesn't usually doesn't ruin your whole score. And you have plenty of time to make up for that. Okay. And still make it a good round out of up a little bit. You can still make a good round. Now, who are some of professional golfers? Do you guys watch any professional golf? <laughs> Um, yeah, we don't, I don't watch a lot, okay. um, but I do follow professional golf. Um, but, uh, so who would then would be your, uh, someone that you maybe look up to or someone that you maybe like, oh, I like their swing or I like their uh, golf cleats or their clubs. Like <laughs> who's someone that you, you follow? Uh, um, I love Roy McElroy. He okay. is an irish golfer and he his swing is beautiful um it's such a perfect like classic swing but power in his swing um and it's just it's amazing to watch him i've watched him at the memorial tournament in oh, nice. dublin and it's so cool to watch him in person um so yeah he's one of my favorite golfers okay I like Jordan Spieth just because he's just a cool guy. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's fine. And, and a good golfer. Yes. He's a great golfer. Yes, he is. And very nice. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else uh, for you girls. It's um, what would What's something that your coaches have helped you with throughout your career in Logan? Staying calm and not getting in my head. Um, cause when I first started playing golf, like freshman year, I wasn't doing very good and they would always just come and try to calm me down and help yeah. me focus on the next hole and just keep going. Okay. Uh, I agree with Gabrielle. It's pretty much the same for me. They're very good at um, helping us keep our mind in the right place while mm -hmm. we're playing and when we're playing and they come and check on us, um, they have food and <laughs> <laughs> and they always they know what to say to make us feel better if we're mm -hmm. not doing the best. And it's just a round of golf is not the end of the world. And we'll have another one the next day. Yeah. The, who would you say is your guys's biggest rivalry in golf uh, within the CBC? Biggest rivalry? Um. I know, I mean, golf yeah. is different than, like, football and basketball where, like, it, it gets a lot more heated and golf is more of a mental game. But, like, would you say there's, like, a team that, like, really pushes you to your guys' limit to uh, want to be good out there on the course? Um, yeah, Bell Fountain isn't on our side of the conference, but the biggest competition when in matches, mm -hmm. they're um, – so I would say that's our biggest rivalry. Okay. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else uh, to pick your guys' brains about. Um, being a more upperclassman a team, what's the benefit uh, of not bringing, like, you guys aren't bringing really anybody new in. It's still the same thing. Does that help uh, when, you guys, when you girls are out there together? We're all used to each other. We all play together last year and we all know each other and how they play and react that's nice so it definitely does help and we didn't have to teach anyone new um last year we had four freshmen right. and we had to show them the ropes and how high school ma high school golf is and how matches work and right then probably what they had been playing if they had even been playing competitive golf before high school um very nice to have okay. an experienced team okay uh well uh, that's all i got for you ladies i appreciate you guys coming out taking some time out of your evening and uh hopping on chalk talk with me i'd like to wish annika who's listening a happy 10th birthday love you annika <laughs> that is such a sweet kind gesture right there from gabrielle schmidt ladies i appreciate it thank you We'll be back here on Shock Talk, and we'll have West Liberty Salem boys soccer coach 
uh, Tim Wolf, who will be on along with his four uh, captains on Shaw Talk. Stay tuned.